guys, it's Kate from Dapper Exotics. I know I've been gone for a while. Those of you on Instagram know that I returned to work. I am a zookeeper um, and I also got promoted and I switched to mainly working nights. So I've been busy, busy, busy. Um, and I haven't had as much time for my own personal hobbies, but I'm trying to return, I'm trying to come back, and I'm going to make more of an effort to be here on YouTube. Um, so thank you guys, I hit 100 subscribers while I was gone, thank you so much for that. Um, I feel like I should do something special, if there's something you guys want to see, um, comment down below and I'll try to get that out for you guys. But anyway, for you guys today, I've done something that I've really wanted to do for a very long time. I don't know if you could tell what animals are involved based on my dress. Um, you know I like to dress for occasions, but <laughs> I upgraded my desert beetle tank. So I have blue death feeding beetles, smooth death feeding beetles, and a couple species of darkling beetle. Um, and they were in a five gallon tank and I decided I was going to upgrade them to a 20 gallon tank with live plants and the works and um, I think it came out pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoy me making my little beetle heaven. So this is the old beetle tank. It's just a five gallon. Um, it's just got a piece of wood, some pieces of sleet, a few fake succulents. Um, yeah, it's it's nice, but we want to do better. We want to do better. We're going to go way bigger. I'm trying some live plants, a mix of live and a mix of artificial because I suck at plants and I am fully expecting all these plants to die, but we shall see what happens.
So I just decided if I'm going to be watering these succulents regularly, they don't need a food bowl and a water bowl, so I took out the big bowl. Um, we'll see how that works, because um, desert beetles don't need too much water. I didn't have a water dish in their previous enclosure, but if the soil's going to be occasionally wet, they'll get moisture off of that. These are the beetles I'm putting in there. There's more beetles, but they're already in there because they were um, inside the piece of wood that I moved into there from their old tank. So I have more blue death feigning beetles, um, some random darkling beetles, you know, mealworm beetles and superworm beetles, and then uh, this smooth death feigning beetle. I do plan on getting some more beetles. I'd like to get dune beetles um, for sure, more blue death feigning beetles because I'm obsessed with them, and more smooth death feigning beetles because they play dead way better than the blue death feigning beetles. So let's put these guys inside and then I'll show you a close up of them having a good time. Look at that guys. Wow. Look at all that room you didn't have before. I'm never going to be able to find you now. There they go. There's one of them. Smooth death feigning beetle. Right back there, and then there's a guy climbing over here. I sprinkled some mealworms and one superworm in there, so hopefully we'll get some more beetles soon. The snake skin looks real nice, but they're gonna rip it to shreds as they eat it. I highly recommend desert beetles, they're very fun to watch very easy to care for and they can live communally with many different species. The blue death painting beetles are obviously my favorite but they're all pretty cool and there's more beetles inside that piece of wood. By the way, my blue death feigning beetles' names are Coral Blue Number 2, Papa Smurf, Violet Baudelaire, and Violet Beauregard. No, I cannot tell them apart. I just pick a name when I pick one up. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed me creating my little beetle heaven. I know I don't have that many beetles for such a big amount of space. But um, it's honestly an excuse to get more beetles, let's be real. Um, I am considering uh, making it a bit more interesting and either getting a desert hairy scorpion or some velvet ants to live communally with my desert beetles. So uh, suggest below what I should get because I am very indecisive. But with that, um, I do want to mention my red bubble because I made a red bubble. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do some studio photography using my animals. Um, I made this, and I made this, and I made this, and I also made this. So, I don't know not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm pretty good at it. So, if you want to support my art, um, I think the cheapest things on Redbubble are the stickers, and those are like a dollar. Um, if there's any products that you would like to purchase that I do not have on my Redbubble, let me know and I will make that possible for you to purchase. And if you're not able to support me financially, which is very understandable given present times, um, please share. I would really appreciate that as well. Feel free to follow my other social media. Um, I have an Instagram, that's where you can find me the most active. Um, I post almost every day and I post a lot of stories and behind the scenes type things. Um, I've also recently got a Twitter, I've got a subreddit, and I have a Patreon as well, which will also be linked below. All links will be in the description below. Um, comment what kind of videos you would like to see out of me now that I've returned. I definitely need ideas. And I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're being safe and I missed you.
Bye guys.